Let me ask you this. In the night, Tata, you receive your book in your right hand. Who's the first person you want to go to to celebrate with? My, my, my mother. Because that's one thing they've always like, Ali, I want you to memorize the Quran so you could put that crown on my head one day. I said, Mama, inshallah, Dad, inshallah. I will do it, inshallah. Go to my Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I have some kind of special connection with the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I feel like I know him. Yes, I feel like I know. My mother and my teachers, if they're not there where I want to see them, Jannah for those not, inshallah, we'll ask about them. I go to my parents. I want to see if they're if if they also got the book in their right hand. Who are you gonna to go to first? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Talk to him about your good deeds. I no, I just want to be able to say like, want... "Hey, I'm from your Ummah. I hope you recognize me." <laughs> Tell me the first word that comes to your mind. The day of judgment. Scary. Fear. My children. What's scary about it to you? You can protect your kids from everything to a certain degree here, but on that day they're going to be alone. It's the day of reckoning, and so now it's the ultimate uh, day where we're standing in front of our Lord. I think about the fact that I won't be able to make any excuses. It'll be very real, very raw, very honest. The moment that you are called forth from the mahshar, you're standing right in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If there was a word that you could say, if there was something that you would say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the very beginning, what would it be? What would be the first thing I will say? Yes. <laughs> oh man, oh, that's a tough one, man. I, I've never thought about that. Uh, I, I don't, that's a good question. I don't, I haven't imagined myself saying anything. I imagine if I had to say something, if I, I would hope I would say that I've tried my best. Oh Allah, please forgive me. Forgive my parents, forgive my wife, forgive my kids, forgive all the Muslims. I don't know if I'd even be able to speak if I was standing in front of Allah, but if I did, I would just make du'a. Ya Allah, I love you and I look for your forgiveness and I look for your mercy. Have mercy on me and forgive me for my sins. I've tried my best, I've made mistakes. Ya Allah, help me and, and, and save me because without your mercy, I, I would be, I'll be doomed, I'll be lost. So what gives you the most hope on the Day of Judgment? Oh, absolutely, Allah's mercy. Just knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-wudud, 